Hey everybody, we'll fix here. Yeah, just like it sounds. If something's broke, you will fix it. Um, what was wrong with my parents? I don't know. Did they ever even think about it? You know, I mean, they had to. Because I can't, I couldn't name my daughter Anita, could I? Because if I did, it would be Anita Fix. <laughs> yeah, that probably wouldn't work out. So I wanted to talk to you about some thoughts I had on Bitcoin, okay? Now, um, I'm not, I'm neither for nor against Bitcoin. Uh, I like the idea that nobody's in charge of it. Uh, I like the idea they're about to um, run out of coin to produce. Bitcoin is going to go to the moon. Yep, it's gonna break through 100,000, I think, like problem free. It may go to a quarter of a million dollars, I don't know. Um, and, and then the idea of ETFs, you know, that's gonna draw a ton of money in, isn't it? You know, because people, now the, the whole world will be able to buy. But here's the, here's the problem that I, that I see, and then, then I have a, a sneaking hunch, you know, and we can talk about this among ourselves. Uh, go ahead and make comments. Uh, not bashing the coin itself. The coin is not even a person. I don't even have a way to bash it. The only thing I can say about it is it's got such little utility. Uh, when the focus goes to utility coin and, and those coins are going to the moon, I think the focus will come off of Bitcoin. But right now, Bitcoin, it's easy to see. It's the leader of them all. So let's talk about that. Um, now, uh, first, I want to say, um, you know, whales think differently. You know how the silver market's traded, right? If you don't, here, here's what goes on between the banks. And the banks have been caught at this. One bank will tell the other bank uh, and do themselves this same favor. They'll buy, let's say they're going to buy $10 billion worth of SLV. They'll buy a whole bunch of call contracts first because they're, they're market movers. So they buy a ton of silver, drive the price way up. Then they sell their call contracts for a giant profit. And you can buy more in derivatives with less money than you can the actual stock, you know, because one, one call contract is, represents 100 shares. So when you're talking about doing this, you can take a little bit of money and make a whole ton of money. All right, so they so they buy it, they buy the stock, drive it up, sell the calls. Now what do they do? Well, they let their other bank friends know, hey, I'm fixing to sell it. You want to buy it? And because you got to have a buyer, you know, and and so they get them prepared. They get the other side prepared to buy it when they tank it. So then they buy a bunch of put contracts. Then they sell off the very silver they just bought. They tank it because they don't care. So then they cash out all their put contracts, right? And 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 when when they do this, the, even just by buying the um, option contracts, they move the market in the direction that would that that seems fit to whether they're shorting or going long. So after they sell it off and drive and hammer the price way down, then the next thing is they want to drive the price up again. Okay, uh, sorry about the glare. So they just do this over and over, man. And that's what they've been doing to the silver market. They do it in all markets. There's all markets that, that this happens in. When you're a whale and you can move a market, you care about making money and you, and you have that um, in you that you're, gonna, that you're gonna do that and manipulate the markets, then, then you very well do. What is the chance that BlackRock wants to create an ETF to drive the price extremely way, like blow it through to the moon, the more than a regular bull run, but also a market change and an exposure to a bigger market kind of run is gonna be added to it. But they're shorting it at the same time because they realize they have enough money to own a majority of it. So what about when they own a majority of the Bitcoin and they short it? And what about they sell it to make tons of money off of their own short? Or they do that for each other, you know, the uh, couple whales. So I believe that's gonna happen because there's nobody in charge of Bitcoin and it doesn't have a strong utility. I think they see the writing on the wall that probably utility coin's gonna take over. And after the huge run of Bitcoin, it's eventually gonna lose steam because these other coins are gonna do, you know, what gave Bitcoin a bunch of attention is it made so many millionaires, right? It went from pennies up to, 
to what sixty, seventy thousand dollars, whatever it was. So you're getting ready to have that in the utility run that's going to happen. The bull run of all these utility coins in the ISO two zero zero two two. So all of those coins are gonna to go to the moon and attention is gonna be drawn to the utility because people will be like, oh, look at the usefulness of this. They're gonna have a, a deeper gut feeling that that's gonna be good and they're, and they're gonna start wondering, well, well, what does Bitcoin do, you know? And uh, so Bitcoin's utility is so small, after they crush it, I don't know uh, that they're gonna have enough energy to build it back when everybody learns about utility. So I'm talking about what's gonna be understood in the future, not what's understood now. Am I against Bitcoin? No, it's the leader of them all right now. But I have a feeling it's gonna to explode to the roof just to be smashed by the whales. So let's talk among ourselves. Give me some feedback. Let's see, we'll do another video on this. Uh, by the way, like and subscribe. Um, that really helps out a lot and I'm blown away at the feedback that's been but you don't want to miss a second video on this after we get some uh, updated information on it and get some good feedback. So hit them buttons for me. Smash them hard. I appreciate it. Bye.